My name is James Blackburn. I live and work in the American Southwest. As a result, I have the good fortune to be able to travel to a variety of beautiful locations. As a professional filmmaker, I document my life through video adventures and I share them with the world. Stay tuned as I travel through the world of movies and the beautiful outdoors. Thanks for watching the James Blackburn Experience. surprise I don't want to tell you about what it is yet until we get there so so uh, keep watching today's gonna be a fun one we're heading to Moffitt for a big surprise then we're gonna head to Monte Vista to go to a grocery store buy some dinners for the next couple days and then head back to our cabin out in the woods and I'm just looking forward to it you know it's the power of the unknown you don't know what's gonna happen next and uh, that's part of the fun of it all uh, we're continuing our journey today on Wednesday driving down a dirt road to the town of Moffat, Colorado. It's M-O-F-F-A-T. Look it up online if you get a chance. I, I don't know much about the history, but there's a place there that we're going to go and visit here in a few minutes, and I'll tell you more about it when we get there. I just, uh, Google Maps took me onto a dirt road, and I didn't expect that, but we're just rolling with it. Just keep on moving, keep on going, because that's what the men are talking about. It's amazing, I can't believe, you know, it's like, it's right there. That sums it up for me, too. Definitely something else. <laughs> <laughs> so look at this shit. Right? We got to Moffat, and we're at a really cool place. It's called High, High Valley, Valley Healing and Herb, I think, something like that. And uh, it was a very pleasant experience. Whitney was the host in there. She treated us really well and educated us about some of the finer points of uh, what's available as well as what's legal and not legal. Uh, but we are in Colorado, so what we're doing is 100% legal, and nobody can say anything about it. So. Yep, it is no issue at all. Not yeah. a thing. It was cool. We had some good conversations with her, too. She's a very intelligent young lady, and... Uh, and that's what I want to do for a job. After the movie business is done with me, I want to I want to own a shop like this. I think I can be passionate about it and meet new people coming in and explain to them here, why, why this is good for you. So, so there you go, folks. We're going to head back to Monte Vista for some grocery shopping and then to our cabin south of South Fork. South of South Fork. That's a lot of south. <laughs> Howdy, folks. Thanks a lot for tuning back in. We are... Back from our little adventure in Moffat, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Actually, we didn't open up anything that we got in Moffat yet. We're waiting until we get back to our log cabin later to, to uh, partake in any of that stuff. But we drove back from Moffat to Monte Vista, New Mexico, which is where we're at right now. Right across the street from here is a grocery store called Safeway. We went in there and got some breakfast and dinner supplies for the next few days. And right across the street is where I'm at now. You can see behind me there's a historic train building. If I turn around here, I'll show you a little bit more. See, there's a bunch of cool trains here. Some of them got some interesting graffiti on them. And we decided, you know, can't check into our cabin until two o'clock, it's only noon. So we came over here to explore and get some pictures. And uh, we're about a half hour drive from uh, from South Fork right now. If you look up Monte Vista, Colorado online, you'll see that it's east of South Fork. And here we are. We're gonna drive over there and uh, check in and make some good lunch and have some fun and just uh, enjoy the rest of the day. It's beautiful out right now. It was really cold this morning, but it's warmed up quite a bit. I've had to actually shed a layer, if you can believe that, because I'm always hot. But yeah, it was great. I'm extremely excited and happy and it's just, you know, incredible. Incredible to be able to have a life like I have and I have to thank, you know, many people for that because I didn't do it all by myself. You know, first I have to thank my mom because my mom did a lot of hard work and 
and sacrificed a bunch to get me to become an adult, <laughs> you know, and I made it. I'm here. I'm successful and I'm happy about it, but it wasn't easy sometimes. So, yeah, thanks, Mom. And then I got to thank my other half, Karen. She's been with me for almost 20 years now and lots of ups and downs, a lot of it because of me. Uh, because I, I have this dream of working in the movie business and trying to make a living and uh, it took 11 years of suffering and hard work to get to it but finally made it and enjoying every single minute of it but I also like being able to travel on my own and explore and I've got to thank my buddy Curtis for flying all the way out here to be a part of this and uh, just feeling really good for no good reason of course so anyway, thanks guys. I can't thank everybody enough. Everybody, there's lots, lots more of you who've helped me in my journey, and and I, I apologize I don't mention everybody right now. I just just want to say thanks. You know, I feel extremely grateful and happy. So signing off from Monte Vista, Colorado, for now. Stay tuned because we're gonna go to our cabin in a little while. Thanks. Bye. Oh, oh, he, he, oh, oh, ah. Alright everybody, here we are. Made it to the cabin. We're south of the town of South Fork, about nine miles, and we are right next to the Rio Grande River. It's very peaceful and nice. It's an old log cabin here. So you can see here's Big Red. Here's the cabin. And it's called the Dick Stanley Cabin because that was the guy's name who originally owned it before he passed away. But before we go in, take a look over here. We got this cool patio here. And then the Rio Grande River right here. Peaceful, quiet, incredibly nice, sun shimmering down there. Still loving that. Okay, so let's go inside and take a quick look at the cabin. Okay, so here we go. We got ourselves a whole kitchen and living room in here. And we're going to get a little fire going in that fireplace later. It's going to be great. So over here is the kitchen. As you can see, you know, it's got plenty of everything we need. The appliances are somewhat old, but that's okay. As long as they work great, we're in good shape. Back here is bedroom number one. I'll be crashing out in here tonight. And then upstairs here, up there is where Curtis's room is at. So let's go take a quick look. A little bit dark up here, but you get the idea. There's a couple beds up here for somebody to crash out and sleep in. And the view out this window is probably really great. Yeah, it is. Okay, so what do you say we go get this truck unloaded and get to uh, some more parts of the day? Because of the men. The manly men. All right, we're gonna get all this stuff out and into the house. Good times, good times. So we got settled into the cabin, we unloaded the truck, we washed all the dishes and got prepped, got everything in the fridge. It was a, a real good team effort. We got everything done like a well-oiled machine. And now we still got time left, it's still early. We're gonna go check out a hike. Now behind me here, you can kind of see there's a trailhead marker back there and a sign. Uh, we're gonna go check out this trail for a little bit and see where it leads and get maybe get some pictures and some more video for you guys. So. Keep watching because it's about to get good. So we're going to be heading up into that in just a minute. See what's back there. Okay, so this is kind of what the trail looks like. It goes through the forest here. And then there's a bridge and a creek here. That's pretty cool. There you go. That is beautiful sounding.
Definitely a neat hike. It's almost magic hour. Once again, I'm blown away. Southwest United States is incredibly beautiful. I feel very fortunate that I get to live here and work here and be a part of this environment on a regular basis. Whew, the air's a little thin up here. Check it out on this side. Mountains. Big old mountains. That's what I'm talking about. So. A lot of breath there, but doing good. So one of the things I really love about mountains are the diversity of the plants here. I mean, you can see there's aspen trees, pine trees, there's lichen growing on the uh, rocks here, and then whatever this ground cover is here, I'm not sure what the name of this is, but it's really cool, it's very beautiful, and. It just feels like you're at a botanic garden, but you're not. You're actually in the mountains and it just happened by accident. I love that. I love it a lot. It's really cool. Okay, hey everybody, we made it to the cabin as you're aware. I showed you guys around, we loved it. We had a great hike this afternoon and uh, we are we had a great dinner. The birch over here, standing in the sun, soaking up the last rays from the last bit of the sunshine and the sunset here. Boy, that's bright. So, anyway, I'm doing something legal here. Nobody can say a word about it. Said really cool. So that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of a nice part of the, the journey as well. So anyway, behind me is the Rio Grande River. Behind you is the cabin. And it's just peaceful. Peaceful and nice right now. Thank you.